We're going to begin with that deadly fire and lithium ion batteries are being blamed for yet another tragedy, this time in the Bronx. The FDNY confirming the batteries are behind the fire that claimed the life of a 34 year old man in the Belmont section. Now the flames broke out overnight on Beaumont Avenue. The fire left nearly a dozen residents searching for a new place to live. Eyewitnesses reporter Lindsay Tuckman live at the scene with the new details that we're learning. Lindsay. David Liz, yeah, we are just learning that it was indeed a lithium ion battery that started this fire and the fire began in the apartment of the man who died. It was his battery. We are learning and his family members are now just learning about his sad death and they are very distraught uh, this afternoon saying that he was so loved and so responsible. But again, we are learning more now about what led to this fire that also displaced 10 people, including children. I'll show you the building behind me here where the fire happened late last night. A vacate order has been issued for the building. You can see the apartment where the fire occurred is boarded up the windows right now as the cleanup process is underway at this point. But firefighters arrived just before midnight to the apartment on Beaumont Avenue near Cretona Avenue. Heavy black smoke could be seen pouring out of the third floor apartment as crews worked to put the flames out. Officials say it was a 34 year old man who was found in the unit and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Another 56 year old resident was pulled from a window and taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. We're told he was a roommate of the man who died. That man is in stable condition at this point now, and two firefighters were also treated for minor injuries. Now, fire officials did find that lithium ion battery in the apartment. A building superintendent says the man who passed away used the e-scooter and therefore the e-battery to make deliveries, and he really was just a good guy. Humble, don't beef, don't talk to nobody, he'll say hi to you and keep it moving, he's not a chill person, pays rent on time, worked hard from death to third floor to the scooter, that's right there, yeah. third floor to the scooter, he worked for Uber, or Uber Eats, he would go and, and go to work and come back, but unfortunately he took the batteries and he was charging them up there and they exploded and he got caught up in the, in the trap. And now this here is the e-scooter that he used. We're told that he kept the bike on the street, but the battery itself was in the unit. He is actually the fifth person to die in a fire caused by e-bike batteries this year. That number is down from this time last year, but it still is an important reminder about how dangerous they can be. Um, again, we are still learning more details about this fire. The buildings department here is here right now inspecting, and we are expecting to learn more from the FDNY later today. Live in Belmont, Lindsay Tuckman, Channel 7. Eyewitness News.